Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm down. All right, here we go. Welcome to Philly Cuts with another beer review. And what is it this time? I'm going to the Budweiser with the Flavor Lock Crown. Yeah. Kind of reminds me sort of uh, like the, um, what is it? How you say Miller Lite taste activator ripple glass thing? Yeah. The Anheuser-Busch InBev beers and your Miller Lights and your Coors Lights, they always have to have those little gimmicks, you know, the flavor locks, flavor activators. Uh, Coors Light has a label that um, if it's cold enough, the mountains will show up purple or lavender or something like that. I don't quite recall. And also, this is the self-proclaimed king of beers of all the world. This is the king of beers, and that kind of irks me, you know? It's kind of like when you have the Dallas Cowboys proclaiming to be America's team. They are not America's team. They're not my team. They're not my team, not in my America. Okay, so let's read the label here, what's up on here. This is the famous Budweiser beer. We know of no brand produced by any other brewer which costs so much to brew and age. <coughs> Bullshit. Uh, our exclusive Beechwood aging process produces a taste, a smoothness, and a drinkability you will find in no other beer at any price. Well, I guess if they say so. And it says brewed by our original all-natural process. Yeah, okay, sure. Using the choices hops, rice, and best barley malt. Oh my lord. Well, I guess if they say so, right? So let's crack this open, baby. So let's get, I'll get it right on the microphone. Oh, wow. And I used a chilled glass for this review. Now, I know the rules. I know that you're not supposed to, but Christ, this is Budweiser, right? Give me a break. And I'm doing it in a Guinness glass. So we're breaking all the rules here. All the conventions of beer reviewing and tasting. And the glass is a little foggy from being chilled, but this is as clear as clear gets. Look at me and my Rocky Dennis head in the beer. Hello. There I am. There I am. Aggressively, aggressively carbonated like any InBev beer I've ever tried and I've ever reviewed on this channel. From Beck Sapphire to Bud Platinum to Bud Light, this is just generic very very aggressive huge carbonation hear that rice krispies yep all i smell is real ricey rice real ricey rice generic american macro lager beer smell all right let's get a taste Ooh. Kind of goes down pretty smooth on the front end, but then you're getting some wickedness in the back and in the middle of the palate. Yeah, extremely, extremely light-bodied. Uh, very little to no lacing on the glass. The head is gone after less than a minute. Still remaining to be very, very aggressively carbonated. I mean, what can I say? There's not really much to say. I've said it before and I'll say it again. When you're reviewing these American macro lager beers, and also a lot of the Canadian ones or macro pilsners, it's very, very hard to differentiate one from the other. I mean, it's just, you know, the lawnmower beer, you know, the prototypical lawnmower beer, contextual. Uh, if you don't really, you know, want to ponder the beer, if you just kind of want to drink something for cool refreshment, then yeah, go for it. I mean, Budweiser is, you know, is your Coke. But, uh, you know, nothing really to write home about. Very grainy, ricey. I mean, we used to joke around about this when I was an undergrad way back when, that uh, you're drinking the Bud Mud, and, and the Bud Mud reference was, if you had more than three or four of these, that's pretty much what you were making the next morning, if you know what I mean. I know that's kind of nasty, but Bud Mud, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to give it probably uh, my traditional InBev rating, usually a D. Um, you know, if you got to drink it, drink it. You know, if someone offers it to you, you go over to someone's house. They don't normally drink beer. It's probably going to be what they have in their fridge just because it's so marketed. Uh, you know, 
don't be a snob and refuse it, you know, drink it. But I don't say actively seek it out. You know, you're not really discovering anything new here. All right, guys, it's Philly Cuts with a quick beer review. Uh, I might have an update, a channel update video next because I got a lot of things going on, a lot of uh, announcements in my life. But anyway, thanks for watching. Philly Cuts. Better reviews. Peace.